how to slow down videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to slow down any video, how to slow down just a section of a video clip, and I'm also gonna show you how to do the speed ramp to get that gradual slow motion effect. Now for this, we're gonna be using Veed. Let's get started. Now we're on Veed, we'll start by importing our video footage. Click upload a file and choose your video. Give it a moment here to upload. And then once it's done, we're gonna head over to the project settings panel and scroll down. Here we can choose how many frames per second and my clip was shot at 60 frames per second so I'm going to choose that. And just as a bonus tip, while you're out filming your video, if you already know that you're going to want to slow it down in the edit, choose the highest frame rate on your camera settings. More frame rate means more information. So shooting at 120 or 240 FPS is going to give you a lot more information than if you were to shoot in 60. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the slow motion will be. Now moving on, I'm going to show you how to slow down your video. Click on your video layer in the timeline to open up the edit video panel. Up the top here, we have the ability to change our video speed. You can choose 0.5 to slow your video down by 50% or you can customize the slow motion by clicking custom and typing in the speed and then clicking set. Because you'll most likely be using your slowed down video as part of B-roll, you're gonna wanna turn off your video's audio. To do this, click on the video layer in the timeline and then under audio in the edit panel, switch it off. If I play it back now, you'll see how your video has slowed down. So that's how to slow down your video, but what if you just wanted a portion of it to be slowed down? Well, to do that, we're gonna head back into Veed and this time place your playhead at the point that you want your slow motion effect to begin. Now click split above the timeline, place your playhead to where you want the slow motion to stop and click split again. Click on that portion that you wanna slow down and you're gonna adjust the speed in the edit panel. Then you can click on the remaining portions and you can turn their speed back to normal by clicking times one. If you're left with any gaps in the timeline, click on the gap and hit delete. That's how to slow down just a section of your video. And lastly, I'm gonna show you how to do the speed ramp effect, which is a gradual slow motion where it starts at normal speed and eventually it comes to a slow finish. So back in Veed here, I have my clip in my timeline and above it, you can see time markers for each second. I'm gonna be using these as indicators to see where I need to split my clip. So we're gonna leave the first clip at regular speed. So you can go ahead and click split at the two second mark. Then put your playhead at the four second mark and click split again. Now pick up the remainder of the clip and move it down the timeline to the right. This is just to allow for space for our second clip to expand because we're gonna be slowing it down. Click on the second clip and we're gonna hit custom speed and change that speed to 0.8. Now we can move the remainder of our clip back and then at the six second mark, click split and same again, move the remainder of the clip to the right and then you're gonna slow that video down by 0.7. And you're just gonna keep repeating this until you've slowed down the remainder of the video clip. And if I play it back, you'll see how the speed ramp effect gradually slows your footage down. The final thing to do is export our slow motion video. Click done in the top right hand corner and click where it says quality. Then you can choose your render settings. Go back and click export video. Lastly, click download and download MP4. And that's how to slow down videos. I really hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.